What's up guys, my name is Cody, welcome to my YouTube channel, and in today's video we're going to be doing, uh, kicking off a new series that is all about the Air Raid offense. The Air Raid offense was made popular by Coach Hal Mummy in the, uh, I believe, 1980s, uh, but really specifically in the early or the late 90s when he was the coach of Kentucky, and you can fact check, I mean, maybe maybe wrong on the dates, but uh, Hal Mummy was a coach, um, uh, it was a coach uh, early in, uh, in the Kentucky teams. But anyway, his area offense was kind of based out of something he learned from um, Baylor. And it was essentially, how do we take an offense and use it to spread the field? It was all based out of spread formations. So either spread for, uh, two by two or spread three by one. And so what I want to do is spend a little bit of time talking and teaching how to run this offense in Madden 20. And there's some little tricks that can make this offense really effective. Yesterday I did a video on the mesh, and today I'm going to do a little bit more of an in-depth tutorial on the mesh and how you can use this out of any different, any package. And the first package that I'm going to teach it out of is the 2x2. Two two. Um, and so if you go to split slot, and you can run either the mesh or the mesh post wheel. Either one will work. So what I'm going to do to start is we're going to do mesh with the corner route. This is kind of the traditional way that Hal Mummy would run the mesh. He would run a corner route and then the two meshes underneath and then typically have the backs. You can check release them or just send them to the flats as is. But your first read on this play is going to be the corner route. You're going to basically peek at the defense and see if you can throw that. If you can throw it, throw it. And then if you can't throw it, you're going to look to the um, you're going to look to the mesh. And the best way to read the mesh is to look right down the middle. The wide receivers are going to cross, and one of them is probably going to pop open. If the defense is in zone, the mesh will sit down and they'll settle up. It's what's called settle up and noose, which basically means they're going to settle up in the open area of the zone defense. If it's man-to-man -man coverage, the receivers are going to continue to run and ideally the mesh is going to create a natural pick or a natural rub route so that the um so that the um the defense has to adjust to that as well so what i'm going to do just for the sake of the video is i'm going to max protect uh, so i can have plenty of time and i want to show you the first route to robinson so the first route the corner route typically is going to beat man-to-man -man coverage. So if it's a one-on-one -on -one situation, if your wide receiver has better route running, this is why with the Chiefs, what I would recommend doing is I would place uh, Tyreek Hill. Uh, I would place your best receiver out there. And so for the Chiefs, uh, that is Tyreek Hill. So um, I'll just sub him in there. And then the crossers, I would recommend McCole Hardman and Travis Kelsey in the split two-back set. And you're going to do this out of different formations. You don't just have to use this. So anyway, the play is mesh. So I'm going to max protect. And the first read is to that corner route again. So here you're going to see if they're just in, because Richard Sherman has the zone down ability, he can play it a little bit better. But typically that route's going to be open. You'll see here if I flip the formation and then I run the mesh corner, you'll see just a standard corner um, will not even have a chance. Richard Sherman typically won't play it anyway. But a standard corner, once he backs up, you see you're going to have that window to throw that all day long. Uh, it's kind of the same concept that we showed you yesterday in yesterday's video. So what that's going to do is it's going to force the defense. They're going to have to adjust to it. And once they adjust to it, what's going to typically mean is they're going to kind of put maybe one or two people over there or they're going to use it. That's where the mesh comes in. So when I see that that corner route's covered, I can look to the mesh and it's going to come open at some point. This is Hal Mummy's favorite route in the system. This route is a very good route for basically kind of picking your defense apart up and down the field. You're going to be able to walk up and down the field on teams as long as you read the mesh. So you don't have to really even read the corner route. If you just look at the mesh, this is going to be an effective play. Maybe you're a beginner player and you don't want to try to throw those hard user catch on, user click on routes because with the mesh corner route, you're going to want to throw it and then you're going to click on him and click, make sure you possession catch it because he's going to be by the sideline every time. But if you say, you know, maybe you don't want to throw that route, I would just focus on the focus on the mesh right here. Um, and these little crossers against zone, you are going to be able to easily just pick the defense apart, pick the defense apart, pick the defense apart. What the defense is going to then have to do is they're going to have to go into man-to-man -man coverage. But as you can see, the little drag, and again, it's little four-yard pops, little four, six yards here and there, and you're going to walk up and down the field on teams. And what it's going to do is it's going to set the stage for some routes we're going to run a little bit later on in the offense. But this is a nice little play here that gets you started. And the play kind of evolves into several 
couple different um, tags um, that you can do. But here you see there was a man look, and you see that route to McCole Hardman just destroyed man-to-man -man coverage. So you do need to understand real quick before we move on to the, some of the tags, the route will change based on what the defense does. So it's really important that you read the defense, and then there are man-to-man -man coverage. What you don't want to do with this route is you don't want to pass lead it. If you pass lead this route, you will have a ton of challenges because the the quarterback is not going to be able to throw it with the right pass lead because there's a chance that, that route might completely stop. So what I like to do is I like to just sit and no pass lead and throw it whenever I see them breaking open. They're either going to break open in the beginning in the middle or in the end of the route. And that's why, again, you want to just stare right down the middle and just watch. And eventually one of those mesh routes will open up there. I was batted down by a quarterback spy. Now, real quick, before we jump off the video, I want to give you a tag that you can use with this route. So if you're running the mesh, mesh uh, series and you're running the corner route, what they're going to start doing is they're going to start playing cover two defense. Once they start playing cover two defense, you want to have these user catch post routes and here I might get picked off but the mesh post it comes with that specific post that you see in the um, sh uh, the West Coast playbook but that post basically what you do is when he cuts to the inside you're just gonna click on and and you're gonna click on and you're gonna possession catch it and it's gonna create a nice little diving animation you want to pass lead this um, at about nine o'clock on your joystick and you see it's going to be that every single time it's very consistent the defense is going to have to use it and once they start using the middle of the field it's going to open up the outside again for that corner route so this is just a little bit a little glimpse of how you can use the mesh play to kind of set up everything that you're going to do for your offense so wanted to get this out to you i hope you appreciate it and i hope it's helpful and if you need if you have any questions about the air raid offense or this video you can leave a comment and i will get back to you the last thing i want to do is i want to encourage you to come back tomorrow because we're going to be discussing a play that you can use once the mesh is covered so a play off of it the way that i describe it is the mesh is kind of your power play it's what you're going to go to over and over again to set up your offense. The play we're going to talk about tomorrow is the, the play drive, and it's kind of like a counter play. It's a play that you're going to use sparingly, but when you use it, it's going to be wide open because of the way that you have been running your power play throughout your offense. So I hope you come back and join us tomorrow.